What's up guys? Uh, welcome back. Uh, so this is just a quick Saturday uh, comic call. Uh, I, I managed to find some time, I don't know how, but I managed to find some time to go down to the comic book shop today. Um, work has been absolutely crazy for me right now. Uh, I'm on call this week, which basically means I'm on 24 hour call outs and um, I've pretty much been called out every 24 hours. Um, so yeah, I've had a minute, I think I had an hour and a half today to nip out and get some comics, so I did. Um, had to get some boxes as well. I've been waiting two weeks for two boxes. Um, not my comp guy's fault. Um, I went in there one day and one guy bought 15 boxes and then he came back the next day and bought 20. Um, obviously had a lot of comp to box up. Um, and then the supply let me down for a week and a half. So finally got my boxes so I can now um, put some uh, organisation into the chaos. So that is my comics. Um, so organised chaos if you will. Um, but it's a reasonably small haul this week, um, not a great deal is out, but some good stuff nevertheless. So let's crack on. So the first thing I got was uh, Nova 1, issue 1, issue 2, issue 3, issue 4, and issue 5. So, I know a lot of you guys have already read this. Um, I'm one of the few I haven't. Um, I believe the creative team's changed now. I think Ed McGuinness and Jeff Loeb are no longer doing it. Um, so, I, I think the first this is the first story arc. And um, my comic book guy basically overordered on all these issues. So, he's been bundled them together for quite cheap. Um, so... Effectively, I've got the first prints, first issues, uh, for cost of the trade, I would have guessed. Um, so, happy with that, and really looking forward to reading it. Uh, I've heard good stuff about it, and who knows, I might carry on with it once the uh, the new stuff is out. I want to get some feedback. But, we also picked up Superior Foes of Spider-Man, issue 2. Um, I know a lot of you guys are picking this up, just like myself. The first issue was fantastic. Um, real sort of fly on the wall look at some of the uh, lesser known characters and enemies of, uh, of Spider-Man and uh, relate to them a bit differently um, and quite quite funny as well next up we've got Avengers 17 Prelude to Infinity Part 3 or whatever I don't know maybe they're actually finally get on with telling us some story of what's actually going to happen because they haven't done the previous two issues uh, starting to get a bit cheesed off now. Just want to get on with the main storyline. Surely it can't be that hard. You know, with all this build up, it's got to be good. And if it's not, which seems to be, be the case these days with Marvel, the, the big events are somewhat lackluster. Um, oh, I've got the scary feeling we're all going to be very disappointed. But, you know, I keep the fingers crossed because, you know, I'm, I'm always happy to be proved wrong. Uh, next up is Carnage 2. Awesome front cover there. Just you know, it's fantastic. This um, my my camera is not doing it justice, but it is a fantastic front cover. Um, to be honest with you, I wasn't really going to carry on with this. Um, I think I said in previous videos, I'm um, collecting a lot of uh, ongoing comics at the moment, and I need just to trim the front and uh, get rid of some of these. And I really thought this would be one of the comics I've got rid of. Um, even though I know it's a mini series, I think six issues possibly. I thought you know. You know, let's just get rid of some books and uh, maybe pick up. I've got the first issue, which I'm happy with. And no doubt later on down the line, I'll have picked up the trade. But you guys got there and beat me to it. You read the issue, and I've heard nothing but good things about this issue. So I had to pick up this issue. Thanks for raising it so highly. But no, I look forward to it, Jen, really do. I think it could be good. Next up was Detective Comics. Batman Detective Comics issue 23. Um, I don't normally get Detective Comics um, on ongoing. I'm only just getting this um, story arc with um, the Wraith in it. Um, a lot of people not liking the Wraith. Um, he's a cheesy knockoff of Batman. That's exactly why I like the Wraith. Um, it's like, you know, someone to take on Batman. You know, two rich billionaires with their toys to take on each other. He's got the biggest dick, I guess. Uh, I look forward to it. And the art in this is really good. Um, Storyline is not going to test your brain. Just pick it up and read it. It's like the expendables of comic books right now. Also, we have All New X Men issue 15. 
this is just I haven't read this. This would be the first book I read. Uh, this is really great stuff at the moment. They are just this classic X Men doing classic stories. Um, but sit in the modern era, so it doesn't feel dated. But you know, and it doesn't feel cheesy or corny. I think someone else already said that before me. I don't know how to plagiarize it, but it's true. It's um, it still feels fresh, but old school at the same time. It's very good. Um, if you're not picking up, you should be. I think the I think the first tree is possibly out of that now as well. More than likely. Um, Spirit Spider Man 15. Yep, yeah, 15. I love this book. I love this every. Uh, I think I think issue seven and eight is slowed a bit down, and then straight back up issue nine is gone. Um, Loving Spider Man, all the evil Spider Man. We just wait. I'm just waiting for Doctor Octopus to do the the full the full turn and go evil again, and we see the evil Spider Man. Um, and then I'm sure somehow by Mystics or you know who knows. I, I don't know. I think I have a theory that it might be Doctor Strange that brings Peter Parker back by the magics. Um, only because I'm not saying there's anything to lead me towards you believing this. Uh, anything other than I just think they're gonna try. I think the Marvel Universe are gonna try and. Uh, uh, build up Doctor Strange a little bit more and I think this would be a perfect way to introduce him into a mainstream comic uh, and just build his character but you know that's just me theorising I could be totally wrong and probably will be but that's my ideas and uh, um, everyone's ragging on Ramos' art I, I, I do see what they're saying sometimes Ramos can do beautiful work and then sometimes Ramos can look like he just scribbled it while he's on the toilet taking a dump. It really is, he's like the Jekyll and Hyde of art. Um, sometimes it's amazing, sometimes it's shite. Um, this one I'd say is okay, it's okay. It's good, it's not you know, brilliant, but it's okay. Next up, Hunger Issue 2. Um, mini series. I'm not sure how many issues this one's going to go for. Uh, Probably a six part, or I guess I don't know, maybe four part. Um, how they're gonna, I don't know whether they're trying to integrate the ultimate universe into the 616 or trying to destroy the ultimate universe, who knows? But you know, it's gonna have major impact on the ultimate universe, um, you know, or maybe they're just trying to get a world where the two universes can, you know, live side by side, and maybe, um, you know, I don't know, I, I really don't know what they're trying to do. Um, I did have a theory that they, um, one of my theories was they're going to try and get away with the Ultimate Universe because I think they just wanted to get rid of it because of Marvel now. They just wanted to condense everything into, like New 52, they just wanted to condense everything into the 616 hub. Um, that would be it. Um, but they had a problem with this. And their problem with this was uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. I think Ultimate Spider-Man is selling so well. Uh, they don't want to lose that total, so I think we could see uh, Miles come over maybe to the 616. Who knows? Uh, and then do with the rest. Possible. Yeah, it's definitely possible. But anyway, I digressed. Hunger 2. Um, hopefully, um, Galaxy will say something more than I am hungry. Feed me more. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but yeah, who knows? I like it. I like the first issue. It's cool. It's good. Uh, you got silver, still, silver there, and uh, Rick on the front. Nice. Pick it up. Uh, Deadpool kills Deadpool issue two. Um, I am a average Deadpool fan. I like Deadpool. Deadpool. I like him mainly as part of a ice cream van. I like him mainly part of a group or of a team or of a collective. Um, for me, uncanny, uncanny X Force. Deadpool was perfectly used in that. It was just used just enough to want you to see more of them um, you know, this is just, just my personal opinion but I, I am not a huge fan of reading them just on his own I think it's just too much you know it's like the Incredible Hulk and you know, the, the movies the Incredible Hulk and the Avengers was probably the best thing one of the best things of the film because Hulk was amazing however when Hulk's in his own film and you dilute it with Hulk you're just thinking oh you know it's just not good and it's just meh whatever it's meh uh, but this one's okay so far. I, I'm giving it a go. I'm treading the waters of the unknown, and uh, so far I'm enjoying it. You know, Deadpool will kill Deadpool. So I'm enjoying seeing the, all the alternate versions of Deadpool, to be honest. Uh, and it's pretty cool. So I'm going to tag along for this one. I don't know how long any issues going to last for. Um, next, the only Trinity War tie in this month The Phantom Stranger. 
Um, to be honest, I, I don't know if it's just me, probably is, um, and my very limited DC knowledge. I never uh, read any Phantom Stranger before. I uh, didn't even know who he was. And so, thanks to Trinity War, they've kind of introduced me to it, and uh, much more so now. Um, likewise, with Cantana on the front and, and Dead Man, uh, I, I was never too aware of those characters. Well, I didn't know them, period. Um, so, this Trinity War, if anything else, even if the story isn't good, it has opened my. Um, uh, expanded my knowledge into further DC characters and whatnot, so that's good. Um, Devil, Daredevil Dark Knights issue 3. This is really good. Uh, it feels like I've been waiting for ages for this issue to come out. I'm not a big Daredevil guy. Um, I'm probably one of the few that doesn't get the monthly ongoing Daredevil series. Um, not because I think it's crap or, you know, it's just not for me. Um, but um, this here, this miniseries does make me appreciate how good he is. Um, yeah, and I do like it. Uh, it's very good. It's, it's written well, the art's well, you know, and it's just a different take and it's a different idea on Daredevil. Um, someone suggested to me, I think it was Gamba 896 suge suggested getting um, Shadowlands, which I think I might do. Uh, but yeah, get that. And then what did we get? My first and only independent in this weekend was um, issue one of Sidekick. Um, from what I've been told by my comic guy, that this is going to be quite dark and quite grisly towards the end. Um, a lot of self depravity going on here. And um, I can only assume by the, the title, um, Sidekick is about a sidekick, i.e., Robin, for example, Batman Robin. And basically, the main hero dies, so Batman dies, and Robin's left to continue the legacy. And um, I think it's just a lot to deal with him dealing with grief, uh, loss. Um, responsibility, um, upheaval, um, doubts, you know, and just how is he going to deal with those things? And, you know, I think he might get a bit corrupted along the way. Um, maybe trying to take a shortcut, who knows. But, like a lot of image stuff these days, um, it's an issue one. You know, my advice to anyone, um, if it's image and it's issue one, pick it up. You know, I'm not saying pick up all more, but pick issue ones up, because it's just, they are bastard to try and find, T trust me, from someone who found got onto Ghost late, and when I'm talking I got onto Ghost late, I'm talking issue 4 late, trying to find 1, 2 and 3 was an absolute nightmare, but I did, and the only eBay purchase this week uh, was Batman Haunted Night, just to complete the um, trilogy, so to speak, it's not really a trilogy, but you know, there was a series, but you had Long Halloween, Dark Victory and Haunted Night, um, yeah, it's, it's alright, it's not a bad copy, original copy. The thing I don't like about it, it's got a bloody sticker on the back, which I hate it when they put the sticks on the back, I really do. You know, we don't need a sticker on the back. But that's it, that's my pickup so far. Um, much, pretty good haul. Looking forward to reading them. They're all, you know, there's not much there, but what there is, there's quanti uh, a lot of quality. So very much looking forward to that. And, um, like the sad true geek I am, I'm looking forward to get my comics in the boxes and organise them. So yeah. Anyway, that's me then. Thanks for watching. Um, see you later.